at that. The shining lights, the broken stumps, and the wide eyes are wide open. That is one great sight. If you're a Peshawar Zalme player, and that's not good if you're a Lahore Kalanda. Chris Gale, first ball, his lights have gone out. It's naught for one, and that is a golden egg, it's a golden duck. Quack, quack, naught for one. Middle and off. Gone. No feet hitting through the line. Now, Janae Khan will remember that delivery for the rest of his cricketing career. The grandkids say, well, tell me what's the best ball you bowl, Granddad. And he'll be saying, yes, I know, I was not. It's easy in by a long way. He's in by a long way. He's going to refer it, but he's in by a long way. He'll say, well, you know, one day I was running up at the Dubai Stadium, knocked over Chris Gale. Easily. But I think he's well home here, Cameron Delport. Well, it's good to hit the stumps. Ooh, hello, one second. He didn't exactly put the bat down. Well, he did eventually put it down, but he put it down as if he was putting an umbrella down in the rack. You're supposed to slide the bat in, have a look here. That's why they've gone upstairs. Hold on. Oh, oh, that's touch and go. No, Alan, I reckon that's out. Now then, is that gone? Shahid Yusuf was the uh, fielder, direct shy, direct hit on the stumps. And Delport could be struggling here. Now, is that bat grounded? I'm not sure. He might get the benefit of the doubt here. He might well get the benefit of the doubt. But you see, his feet are not even there. And there was a piece of very poor cricket by the batsman if he's given out here. It's on a frame. It's tough, this. Now, I know this will do it. Oh, I think he's... Now, from there, that angle, the bales are out of their grooves. And I think from that angle, he might, have, he might be gone. Third umpire, who's going to give this out? What's the story? What is he gone? Is he gone? He's gone! He has gone! That is poor running from Delport. Slide your bat in. So this is an extraordinary start to this match. Cameron Delport's gone for naught in two balls. And it's not for two. It's a double duck. Sean Tate, two slips. Oh, that's a bad ball from uh, the Australian. Down the leg side, he gets a little edge, a little nick on that. Dancing. Out in the middle with the band. Great stuff. They've all gone up. They've all gone up! So has the finger. Everyone was looking for that. Sean Tate, bowling fast, gets the away swinger. And the Kalandas are in a real mess here. Rizwan has gone for four. 
Tate's picked up his first. It's four for three. Yep. <laughs> Tate was 100% sure. Keeper was 100% sure. Better is not 100% sure at all. He walks away one side. He says, I never hit it. But there was pretty good appeal. They love it. Umar Akmal comes in and his side is four for three. The youngest batsman to complete a, a thousand runs in T20 internationals. He was just 23. And he reached that milestone against South Africa some three years ago. The second leading run getter in T20 internationals from Pakistan, and just eight behind the leading run getter, Mohamed Afiz. Well, Rizwan didn't think he hit that. Look at that bat, full of red marks. Well, he's 25 years of age and he promises so much. He's played 71 T20 internationals for Pakistan with a highest score of 94, strike rate of 124, and he's played 162 2020 matches with a strike rate of 128. And uh, Lahore need him now. Need a big contribution from Umar Akmal. Oh, he's picked it up delightfully. Well, his side will be hoping that that's an omen for good things to come. Yeah. And his brother can watch from behind the stumps, the two Akmals. Wide, down the leg, that's what it gives you, but a little flick on. Tate won't be happy. Won't like that at all. Yep. Should have been nine for four. Hit quite odd, but straight at him. Yeah, not easy. Blistering pace he had as well. Umar Akmal lofts Sean Tate straight back over his head, and he will get four. It's a brave stroke, but it comes off this time. It's on offer as well, so exciting. And exciting is that Azhar Ali advances down the track, slaps it past cover. Much needed boundary from him. Just making more than momentum and slapping it through the covers. Just Omar Akmal, he's not going to hold back and try the free. The, he's not going to hold by either. That's exquisitely timed. Junaid Khan with a dive. That's an absolute great shot. Back. Pressure on Umar Akmal. How will he deal with it? Oh, that's a poor delivery. And got the treatment. That set up so nicely for Umar Akmal. Releases the pressure. Asgar is not happy. Eyeballing him. Umar Akmal. HBL PSL live. Oh, there's an edge. There's definitely an edge. And he's walking. Caught by his brother. It's a tragedy. But he's gone and it's Asghar who has spun one across sharply and has picked up a valuable wicket of Umar Akmal. So he had the last laugh, the left arm spinner. Akmal gone for 21. Kalanda slumped further. 45 for 5. 
qualified for four now. Can float it up and extravagant spin. Fantastic bowling. Or terrifically in the first over, and this time he succeeds. Great bowling. Omar Akmal has to go back. Fantastic left arm spinner's dismissal. First ball, it's dealt with. Giving himself a little bit of room and slaps it out. Cover. First boundary in eight overs. Yep. I suspected as much. It's the happy hour now for the batsman. Really, the game is at a point where if you don't get a hurry up, you. The straighter one, and he's got another wicket. Phenomenal bowling by Asgar. This time, Azhar Ali nicks it behind. A good catch from Kramar and Akbal, and Asgar gets another one. The fine for Peshawar Zalme. Azali has to walk for a labor 31 at 63 for 5. It's a good shot. That really is a beautiful shot. And I say that because it was not a bad ball at all. It was a Yorker length and sliced into the fence. Worldviews, cricketgateway.com. It's a pull shot and it's a decent pull shot. Give him a four. And Wahabria is just spoiling the over with that length. Wasn't required. The last ball of the over. 85 for 5. Barbriaz is running in aggressively. Bravo puts him over cover. That's his favorite zone. And he's so impressive when he's carving that ball like that. It is his favorite zone. And if, if anyone does any sort of video analysis of the way Dwayne Bravo bats, this is the area he favors most. He loves going over extra cover. I'd be inclined to move my cover point much straighter because of this shot. Time after time again, Dwayne Bravo favours that area, that segment of the ground. And he's been in for 27 balls, that's his first four. Oh, gone, six! Magnificent, you've got to call it that. 100 comes up as a result of that fierce pull shot. It read the link so early and it way she went. Well, he was on Bravo 2 0 before it and he's now on Bravo 2 6. Bang. That's a good shot, isn't it? Really good. Well, he's a magnificent striker of the ball. A four over cover and then this pull shot. So his range is. Is, uh, is quite uh, deep. The eyes uh, surveying the field. He's looking at the leg side. Maybe a, just a dinky shot, that lap shot. Fine leg is up in the ring. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's gone between the two fielders. It's another extra cover, Bonanza. It's extra cover. And Peshawar needs some extra insurance out there. Really would get a man in that area. That's almost a carbon copy of the, the shot before where he lofts it. He loves going over extra. Well, the charge is on and, uh, well, this is imaginative stuff. This really is crafty batting. Two fours and a six. Four, six, four, the first three balls. A 
sixth therapy has put the smiles back on Kalanda's a very good comeback. Ahmed Afiz, the fielder down there at a deep cover point. At four over extra, that's the first one. Six. Great shot that. And then here he goes again. Makes room for himself. Balance was uh, beautiful. Stayed into that inside out drive. It's an edge and taken brilliantly by the keeper. It is a magnificent catch, really smart keeping. It was pushed up. And uh, there was a clear sound and a slice. And Kamran Akmal takes a good run. Sharp catch. And Bravo looks disappointed. Just as he was taking the opposition on, he's gone for 32, 107 for 6. Sometimes it's sort of changing the field it's not Shahid Afridi it's Cameron Aquil who's traffic controller out there that's gone up in the air whose is it oh almost got to it Sean Tate swirling underneath it it was a difficult one, really was. He pushed himself hard, he came in rushing in with the intention to catch it. Not to be. Yeah, it was uh, up in the air for a fair time, Sean Tate. Uh, he was there, he got there, could have done with another yard. Into the hands and a slippery bar of soap. He didn't like that, wasn't exactly giggly, was it? Gets on top of the bounce, that one, a little short, and Hafiz pounces on it. First boundary for Peshawar. Yeah, he just snatched at it, dragged it down. And that was the quicker one. So when he, when it was dragged down, just sat up, and he said to find the gap, he was going to run away. Easy pickings, nice way to get off the mark as a batsman. But you get so angry with yourself as the off-spinner when you drag it down slightly with that new ball and it skids on. Got to get it up there. So a good start for Peshawar. Six off the first, one gone. There you go, no holding back this time. Goes over cover, one bounce into the fence. Well, well, that's a surprise. He didn't do that in the first match. He's hung around, but clearly the decision has been made. We need to come hard in the first six overs and maybe against the seamer, which is going to be easier. The fast men are easier to hit than the spinner. Yeah, runs under the belt, gives him confidence. He's naturally a very aggressive player. He takes on the fast bowlers, likes dancing down the track exactly like that. So now that he has that confidence of striking the ball well, you'll see the other side of the mimic ball. Immediately a change in the field, the fine leg comes up. Pressure on, a wide ball, and Rizwan doesn't collect, so everything going wrong. Four whites. Bonus runs, runs that can ill afford. It was a poor, poor delivery. And just as poor keeping, it bounced, it didn't bounce badly. That's a, a regulation opportunity for a, a wicket keeper. It didn't get down. Took it for granted and paid the price. So a boundary, so two in a row and the wide, and suddenly they're off and running. And now it's just close to 100 needed in 111 balls. That should be quite easy. Got to get wickets early on. A fantastic shot this time, straying onto the pads, and he's played it with the full face of the back through mid-wicket. The mimic ball striking it brilliantly. It's a lovely shot to see when a left-hander plays that. He's got to get his balance perfectly right. He's got to get his head over the ball, and you watch. The Already, it seems as if the game's running away from the Kalandas, right from the onset.
a pickup shot, a drop kick, and it gets another four on the pads, another boundary, expensive over, 23 without loss after two. Hafiz waltzes down the track and lifts him high, wide and handsome. A maximum. Yep, it's all going right. Zalmi are clearly... Oh, that's bad. That's gone almost for a six, but a couple of bounces over the rope. Not a good ball. This set up very nicely for him to work the angle. Now the bowler will be really livid for this. That's uh, that's just giving him, just giving him a free hit. Turn around. See a problem with that? It's uh, it's given some of the bowlers an incentive. Oh, that's four. And it's 50 up. And of course, it is the 50 partnership for the first wicket. Oh, that's a biggie. He picked up the slow ball so quickly. He's a smart cookie, Mohammed Afiz. Plenty of experience, and he's showing good form these days. Bravo trying to hoodwink him with a slow off cutter. And a striker had range in the mind, the feel in the mind on the leg side, and beautifully done. Easily done. He had the feel in mind and straight driven for a four. Right then, after nine, 67 without a wicket. Zalmi doing it rather nicely. Figures down the track. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Do I need to say any more? Not many better cover drives than that. Right, uh, Let's go down to uh, Zenep, who's got uh, Fawad Rana, the owner of the Kalandars. Back and say it's kind of not our day. He just haven't stepped up. And they're going to need to do that because they're under the pump. They might lose this game. Oh, that's a great shot. That is good. A little, little punch. Nothing more than that. No flourish, just clinical. The Lahori's. Oh, that's gone for another four. Quicker, round Amish. That's taken the inside edge and gone. And hit the fence. Yeah, it's turning out to be a... I'd be interested to hear what you would say into the game. What would you be saying to your team? I know you're a big supporter of Lahore. Yeah, I mean, it's difficult really to tell them what to do. They're all professionals. Maybe it's a bonding issue. Maybe it's just that... Uh, Oh, gone beautifully done. This is Mendes for you. Sleight of hand has done the job. Well, well.